So here we have the Google Books API Explorer. We're going to do a quick query here right from the GUI just so we can get, you know, the information that uh, the API returns. Uh, later, we're going to do the same thing from our function, but we're just going to take the information that we need. Uh, so you can see here, I queried for uh, Dune, one of my favorite books, and I can see all the information I need. See the author here. I see the category. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna use their same thumbnails. There's no need for me to save them. Uh, so cool. This is good enough. Um, I know the API can return the information that I want. So here, uh, I made my function so that it only uh, can go through all the items that it's returned from the uh, from the search. And we're only going to get this information: just book ID, title, author, not everything that we get returned. Uh, just because we just want to show uh, some books to the user. Uh, so here I have my core tools already installed. Uh, I'm going to do the function start. It came up without error, so the first thing that I like to do is check that the function is up. This is good. Uh, this tells me the function is up, yet this is not my endpoint. I have to go to forward slash API and get books is what I named uh, the, the function. So I'm going to do that from my API client. I'm using Thunder client. Uh, I really like using uh, Thunder for this type of things. Uh, I don't need any type of authentication now, but uh, the one parameter that we need to pass is the query. And we're going to do the same thing that we did on the Google Books API. Uh, so we're going to search for Dune. And so you can see we're getting uh, what we need here. Uh, we're seeing two a uh, couple of results here so we just have to uh, so you know our function work it iterated through all of them and it returned the data that we need uh, so let's try a different book um, and and notice I'm not passing title or anything so this is just matching anything we might have to uh, uh, make that a little better later but it did find the book that I wanted uh, one of Robert Greene's books so these are two examples of successful queries uh, next up, we're going to package this into a container, uh, so stay tuned for part three.